I'm Louis Price and I'm doing the um, video projection elements for There Is Hope. The show deals with very big, big themes and, and issues um, to do with religion, the body, um, belief, faith. So um, we started looking at um, religious painting and kind of dramatic landscape painting. Um, artists like John Martin, Caspar David Friedrich, um, and they're kind of uh, famous for creating these sort of fantasy landscapes with extremely you know, bold colours and lightning blasts and smoke and everything like that. So basically sort of like, you know, fantasy landscapes. Um, and then we also decided that um, we wanted to create a sense of movement in the show through the video. Um, so I kind of mixed these two together. We've been looking at um, uh, basically using archive material, so things like um, smoke bellowing out of, of um, volcanoes and, and skies and um, even things like animals like ants and insects and locusts and things and things that had like slight, a slight biblical connotation um, and then in post-production basically using this and also some newly shot stuff I've kind of digitally graded it and um, messed around with the footage and put it on its side and everything like that and then basically animated it all so it's basically panning upwards so all the video, which will run throughout the whole show, will be projected at the back and then kind of move up or down, depending on your perception of it, will move you know, either up or down through the whole show. So, and then also we've got dozens and dozens of cues of different images, so those will kind of kick in in different parts of the show, which will, you know, dictate, will help the mood of the piece. The loose narrative of the show is it starts in a certain place, in a dark, hell-like atmosphere, and then sort of ascends, so to speak, or descends through purgatory and various different states of belief and, and um, you know, hell and heaven, and then eventually ends up in, in heaven. And so my projections basically progress with the show, but rather than being still, they're constantly moving. Also, uh, to kind of offset it slightly. Built into the set we've got a little television screen and I've just basically sourced all this stuff from around the world like Brazilian television and various places. Not all the audience will be able to see it all the way through but it's kind of like there through the whole show as well just to slightly offset the sublime kind of imagery of the back. Um, and in working in collaboration with Jan, the set designer, we have found quite a good sort of like rough surfaced um, cloth to project everything on so we're not lying that it's a projection but at the same time we're still creating a kind of atmosphere and mood through the video. The, the process of creating the video was basically I had a few conceptual sketches so to speak of, of these and, and messing around with the movement thing but then basically throughout the rehearsal process the six weeks um, I've been kind of regularly coming in watching runs and checking in on the progress of it all and then basically responding, almost improvising to the stuff that's being choreographed on stage so the process has been quite organic and I'll probably still even, you know, during the tech and, you know, even, I don't know, even after the shows start, probably add, start adding more things to it or taking bits away so it's a bit like a, creating a, a lighting design really once the video, the show has kind of gone through and the video has kind of layered upon layer upon layer of these images, there should be a, a kind of grand coup de théâtre moment which involves the projections changing focus at some point, but I won't say what that is in case I ruin the surprise of, of it. But, um, it's, a, it's a really cool moment that kind of works in, in unison with the set as well at the end. It's like a climax.